Welcome to King of the Palace. I'm Dennis Nuzzo today with this week's bowlers. To my left, the number five seed, just mowing down the competition, Brian Robinson. Welcome back. Thank you, Dennis. Uh, how, how'd you feel about that win after last week? Uh, you know, felt good about the first string, second string, not so much, but we'll just keep it going. Win's a win, right? That's right. <laughs> well, good luck. And to my, my right, uh, number two seed with a raw score of 655, a newcomer, Ben Leary. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, what are your thoughts about uh, making it to the show your first time here? Uh, feels good. I'm hoping I can bowl like I did in the uh, preliminaries, and if I do, maybe I got a shot at winning. What, what are your thoughts about possibly wearing that title belt over there? Well, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Everybody wants it. It's my kryptonite, though. Yeah. You gotta know that. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Yeah, good luck you. to you. I'll see one of you in the 11th box. Welcome, everybody, to the King of the Palace. You are watching uh, Ben Leary on Alley 3, newcomer to the King of the Palace, coming from Manchester, New Hampshire. His high average is a 96, bowling for 20 plus years. His high single is a 143. His high trip is a 385. He comes out of Bowling Acres in Peterborough, New Hampshire, and Lakeside Lanes. I go a little more right. Love right, Lakeside. Tim Lipke does a great job up there. Yep. <clears throat> nice recovery on that. Ben's qualifying score was a 655, and that was with a handicap. Still good bowling, though. You got to hit your yep. objects. Four horsemen. Four horsemen, right side. This is my favorite shot. Is it really? It is. Is it because you make it a lot, or you just like to see it go? You, you know what's funny? I used to always make it. I almost never missed it, so it became my favorite shot. And then I actually think it was last month's King of the Palace or a month before, and somebody was like, I hate that shot. It's so hard to make. It almost never goes ever since. I've hardly, <laughs> I've hardly made it. And I'm like, oh, my God. Well, it's one of those shots where it depends what house you're at. Like yeah. Central Park Lanes in East Boston, if you try to split it on the inside, it won't go. You have to hit it on the outside normally. Up now on Alley 3, Brian Robinson coming from Braintree, Mass. His average is a 108. He's been bowling for 30 years. His high singles are 182. His high trip is a 432. His home lanes are Union Street Lanes in Holbrook, Mass. And Timberland Lanes in Abington and Exeter Lanes. Last week, he defeated Steve Reno Jr. That was a battle. Yeah, he had an excellent first string. Yes, he did. And that was a string that uh, Reno couldn't come back from. He had a couple opportunities, Reno, but he was getting... He was hitting the pocket. He was just getting the crap leaves, like yep. four, seven, eight, no wood, and he just couldn't do much with it. Thank you to Sam Sitar, Jonathan Mosbach, and Morgan, eight, seven, five, seven. I find the term the Kaleri as an insult to Bob Kaleri, says Morgan, eight, seven, five, seven. Um, actually, they, that, they call it, oh. it, they call it the Kaleri to honor him, and he knows that, and he has no problem with it. I know Bob Kaleri personally, I've seen him many times, I've bowled him many times. And uh, he has fun with it. So it is not an insult, Morgan. And Jonathan Mosbach said he was watching from Jerome Israel, who's, who had a pilgrimage there <laughs> during that time. <laughs> when I said, <laughs> one of the episodes where I said he said he was watching from Israel, but I know he's not from there. I don't know if I buy that, Jonathan, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. How about that? I believe he's from Pennsylvania, correct? I don't remember. You could be right. All I know is we're up to 818 subscribers. Ooh. Spectacular. You guys are answering the call, man. See Dennis put it out there and you've done it. Oh, there you go. This is fine. I'll get the jitters out for you. Let's see if we can get up to 850 before the end of the season. Yeah, let us know where you're watching it, uh, who you're watching it with, and share it with somebody and say, hey, you know what? Che oh, are you kidding me? One fill. How is that even possible? Nice out. Nice 10. So he's 37 through 4. Forty-six with the uh, handicap. Oh, look at this! Eight nine. There's a piece of wood in front of the eight. 
it's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. Oh, wait a minute. Throw him back. He's going to sit up right next to it. <clears throat> Helicopter it around. Play it like you're almost playing the knife in. Yeah, but you didn't want to do that. All right, grab the 10. Want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru and Ludwig Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or visit them in person and see Marty Babineau and his excellent sales staff at a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on Candle Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, and 10 Pin Bowling. Then a seven problem adding. He's no, I forgot the <laughs> handicap over there with the uh, up and down. Right nice down ball. the middle of the plate, leaves the five pin, and it's a stripper pole. A half a stripper pole. Oh, okay. Didn't go all the way around. <laughs> Thank you for chiming in. You can get more comfortable now? Chime in well, all the I, time. I know, I, yeah. There That'll you go. Great. Just I yeah. thought this would be a change for you guys. I always talk so much normally. That's true. How often right, do you have behind the scenes, she can't. We can't shut her up. <laughs> now we can't get her to talk. After four, Ben's at 46, Brian's at 48, working on a spare. You know what my mom always said, don't you? Or Phil? Oh, it's I'm afraid to ask. No, never mind. Children should be seen and not heard. Oh, yeah, uh. I, I, mine just say that all the time, too. <laughs> it's got to be an Italian thing. Yep. My mother would go say, uh, Disappear, go play in traffic. Yep. Go play in traffic. Yep, my mother used to say that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's yep. awesome. Are you my long lost brother? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. <laughs> wow. A little off. There's the one, two, three, four, five, and seven piece were between the four and the seven. I don't, know, I don't think the jitters are gone yet, even with that first mark. Throw your first mark and you feel it with a one. That kind of get in your head a little bit. Yeah. Leaves the finger of God. Nine box for 61 <coughs> after six. Brian can really open up lead right here. Yeah. He's up two pins and he's on a mark. Brian Bowles on the Tuesday night speed league in Holbrook and also the Sunday pro league in Exeter. His favorite shot is... The five pin with wood, and his least favorite shot is the five seven or five ten. Oh. Nice nine, Phil. Puts him up 11. Only seven pin. Junk to the right, and one in the gutter. Nice, oh, all, all over, over it. it. A, never a doubt on that one. Could he be having another big string that he did last week? We'll see. Could be running away with it. It's going to be a crucial fill right here. Off to he the seems, left, he but seems he's to bounce it more in four. He's got a good fill. Not bad. Makeable spare. It's a nice half. 73 half so far. Very good. See if we can double that for a nice one, 45, 46. Oh, oh nice. nice pickup. Three in a row. What's that, David? Any three marks in a row is turkey. Yeah, <laughs> turkey lunch. Thanks, Steve. After six. Ooh. Ben is at 61. Brian is at 83, working on a spear. Ben leaves the 2-4. Two, four. Nope. Four. The four. <laughs> Pause for dramatic effect. The four. The bears. And he picks it picks up. Picks it up. You needed that. Bulls on the Sunday night, Foxwoods Casino League. I gotta get into that. Nice one. shot. That looks like a lot of fun. That was a clutch spare right there. I think he had the one, five, six, 
eight, nine, or eight, ten, or something like that. That was beautiful. See if Brian can keep it running here. See what the pressure's getting to him from the opponent throwing marks in them. Ooh, four horsemen to the left. Uh, one, three, six, that, ten. That's the right, but. With a piece of wood up against the three and the six. Now that six pin looked like it might have fell for a second, but it settled in. Got a nice piece of wood in back to guide it. Oh, oh. ten pin. Ten Denied. Pin. Denied. All right, let's see if we can start it back up again. Come back. Oh, Ooh, just, missed just missed it. That's the first pin he left the string. He's still up 22 pins box to box, but now he's up against the spear. It's Brian, so he would like to throw a mock right now and maintain that lead. If you want King of the Palace in your neck of the woods, contact your local public access provider. Tell them you want King of the Palace. Sign a piece of paper. doesn't cost you anything. They contact us. We stream it to them. They show it for you. And again, they pick the day and time that they air it. We do not. So if uh, you want a Dave, specific time. Dave, this one's to the left. <laughs> This Contact them left. and see if they can put on a time that you want. This is the four horsemen left side. One, two, four, seven. Yeah, it seems like one, two. on lane four, he bounces it to the left. It, it's weird. I've noticed that like the four or five boxes now, the last couple of weeks, he's been bouncing it over to that side. On lane four. Leaves the finger of God. After eight, Ben is at 86 working on a spear. Brian is at 107. Still great bowling. Only one pin shy of his average right now is Brian. See how Ben can respond right here. He throws the ball in the ocean and he leaves the... I think this is the spear he just made. One, three, five. Eight, ten. Eight, ten, yeah. Hold on, it ain't done yet. Now it is. It is now, yeah. Nice 10 box. 101 through 9. Not bad. It's already above his average. Nice mock kick and get a nice 120 game. Oh. It's the 148. Two pieces of wood, one by the one, one touching the four and the eight. Yeah. A couple of jokers on the deck. Make? Well, just had to hit the head pin. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh. short pin. Wow. Too much wood. See, that's an instance where too much wood hurt you. So that helped you. There's been a lot of wood on the decks today. Yeah, there has been. Nice 110 string for his first time on TV. Not bad. Nothing wrong with that. He had three spares that string. Fills one, five, and five. Probably a little jittery, but still not bad bowling. Now Brian's at 107. Let's see how much he can uh, get the string by. He'd like to throw at least one mark right here. Oh. Here's the four pin. Wood rolling around, see what happens. So you should have a pretty clear shot at it. Yeah. Yeah. And right in the face. Yep. Or as Steve would say, he faced it. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched a couple of days ago that episode where he first learned that. I'm <laughs> just saying no. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the face. It's in the face. Or when uh, he would talk about <coughs> the shoe. Yeah, the shoe. Dan Garvey. I just pulled him. Oh, oh another nine drop. Some nice wood on this one. Yeah. Um. Yeah. If yeah, you he's get, got. He can get by that. Yeah. Just a tip. Oh, he's going for the other wood. He nails nice. it. Pushed it through. Brian's just running away with it this string. He's at 136 plus a ball. Might end up with that 140. Yeah. Let's see if he can drop a bomb. Ooh, two Deuce. Fell. Ah, jinxed him. 138. Still great bowling. 20, Absolutely. 28 pin lead going into the second string. Brian, 138. Ben, 110. 138. 110. Let's see if Ben can bounce back here and uh, 
Get back into it. Just so you know, there is no returning king, so after this tournament is over, we will be crowning a brand new king. Absolutely, it'll be one of these three bowlers. Two up right now here, or the uh, former king, Dan Chimad, who actually oh, technically almost. never lost his title. Nope. He just couldn't come back to defend it. Yeah. You almost had the, I almost, yeah. I know, it was almost. Almost, almost there for you. I really want to channel my inner Steve. <laughs> Get well so, soon, Steve. <laughs> If that's the case, if you want to channel your inner Steve, then you'd be probably like you're smelling like dust and formaldehyde and whatever wow. it may be. You wouldn't be able to use your phone. Yeah. Tablet. Nice oh, 10 that box. Nice. That's the one thing I can say, though. But she's on her phone more than you are. I'm not on my phone a great deal. No, but you're doing it for the show. I'm here for the show, yeah. She's just yeah. on it to be popular. <laughs> With one. <laughs> So we can pick on you just like Steve. Yeah, we go. Yeah, but normally I don't have the headphones on while you That's pick true. on me. Nine drop. He's the eight pin. A couple pieces of wood rolling around, one directly in front of it. Easy pick up. As long as that, just just gotta, hit the wood. Yeah, as long as that other wood in the front doesn't roll back now, it looks like it should be all right. Yeah, it's going to stop. Yeah, just plow it down. Plow the road, baby. There you go. Just like that. Almost had a... Travis going to have to edit. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Steve's not here. <laughs> Love you, Steve. I miss you, kid. Oh. Wow, we just missed that. Definitely wants to play the horseman here and uh, try to get a nice, decent out. Ben's favorite shot is hitting the head pin on the first shot. Oh, oh nice out. And then his least favorite shot, the quarter Worcester. That would be just like a two or the three pin. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. When he's not pulling, he's an electrical engineer. He also enjoys guitar, video games, electronic projects, running, rock climbing, and horse bowling. Absolutely. Just missed a head pin. He's down 28 box to box, and now he's up against a spare, and he's open, so he's going to have some work cut out for him and gets back up again. Pulls two out of that for a nine box. 28 after two, and Brian's 20 after two working on a spare. So Brian can really open the door even wider for himself right now. Nice big fill. Right now he's got seven spares to Ben's three, so let's tell him the story. Seven fill. You know, I often wondered, and I should ask this question, people that are on the show, you know, and that make the show and then you interview and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I wonder if when they go to work, they say, hey, I'm going to be on. King of the Palace on TV bowling. Do you think they actually they do that and they watch? And that's how some of the subscribers come to be? Could be. Very well could I'm be. I'm sure at least some people do. Definitely family members and friends. You have to ask that question. I think I will. You know? I will. I'll, when I interview the winner of this, I'll ask. I'd be kind of curious to see. Yeah. You know? I should have asked Dean that or, you know, when he was here. Well, see, you know, stuff comes up later on. Yeah. Did Dean already leave? Yeah. yeah. He did. Dennis, did you do that when you were on the show? <laughs> Absolutely. <You know. laughs> Facebook yeah, said, but he I'm does that always. I do it all no, the time. I mean, like the post office. Did you like? Yeah. You always <laughs> tell the, the you know, some of your your coworkers. I'm gonna be on TV. Absolutely. When I made Comcast for the first time, I was working at Target, and um, I told the oh. bosses and everything. And gotta love Target. Target. Wiggle, wiggle. And they actually used me as a topic of conversation for a meeting, saying you know my determination and stuff like that, the sticking with it is how I made it to TV. Uh, you know? Look at you. So, uh, yeah, it was actually... And then you gave your notice. <laughs> yeah, no, not, not, well, soon after that, but... You know what, you know, Amber's going to turn around and say, Hey, look, you can hear me. She's going to tell everybody, tune in, listen. Guys, talk? you yeah. can hear me hardly talk. You can talk more than Ben dropped seven here. He definitely needs to make this spear right now. He did. Hmm? said he didn't. 
Uh, he did not, that's correct. Brian's just not leaving a pin standing. There's 10 box. Oh. Still down, uh, Ben's still down 27 box to box, but he's up against a 10, so he can, if he throws a mark here, he can make up some ground. Yeah, he definitely needs a few marks. Yeah, he's just off that head pin a little bit. Oh, almost had the shot you were talking about. I was about. just gonna say that was so close. Yeah. I think this is the Greek church leave, isn't it? I guess. I don't what? I, usually, Steve, when he says this kind of stuff, I don't pay any attention. Actually, to this it. was one of our watchers, the oh. viewers, that said that. The, the three and two like that. <coughs> you it. know, what's kind of funny is Steve says a lot of things, and I don't pick up on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's tuning them out. You know, like the double pinochle or the queen's that leave cool. or the I don't even the lily. What's that? The five, seven, ten or something like yes. that. Yes. After four. I always remember the mongo. Yeah, the, the triangle. After four, both bowls are 47, but Brian is still holding on to a 28-pin lead going into the last six boxes. The devil's bedpost or something like that? <laughs> what? Wait, what is that? 4-6. Uh -huh. Corner of the building shot. The 7 out of 10 pin. Eight drop. I listen to him. I listen to you, Steve. Don't worry. <laughs> It, uh, I have to. He's sitting oh, on my, oh, sitting oh, my good ear. Or I like, uh, what's the one he uses? Uh, the foundation box. The ninth box. Yeah. I haven't heard him say that. Yeah, he says it way too much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice bit on that. I don't know if he was actually going for that Let's side. Let's see if he can't pick this up for a 10. It almost worked. Though. Yeah, it did. Hey. There's many ways to make a shot. That's the great part about this sport. He's, He's almost got three 10s in a row. If he oh makes boy. this a row. And he does. Ladies and gentlemen. Get the microwave ready. In the words of my good friend, George, at Watch Me Suck at Bowling, three tens in a row is now known as the microwave turkey dinner. How did that come to pass? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, but he said You'll it have earlier, to ask George. and it was fantastic. Nice ball. That was a nice, see, that one he didn't pull over. George, George, four, four tens in a row. Oh, he doesn't have anything we'll have to come that, up huh? with something. Hmm. Now, this is a nice piece of wood out front. It's way far up, though. You got, once I hit it, like, right where the red line is. There you oh, go. nice, nice. pickup. <laughs> All right, Ben's got his work cut off for him right now. 28 pins down. He's up against a 10 and a spare, so he needs marks right now. You he have to wonder how much how much gas does Ben still have? Uh, Brian's still in his tank. He, doesn't look like they'll be faltering right now. He's, he's pinning like a madman in marking still, so. As Ben leaves he's the He's got, what, seven so far? Yes, eight. Uh, eight. Eight. Right through the hoop, no grease. Brian has eight spares to Ouch. Ben's three. Little chappy. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> nice out, though. Great out. Yep. Should be an eight. Good. Yep. 30-pin lead for Brian right now. Ben's up against a spare, so he's, he's got a mark. I, I can't stress that enough. And he's not pinning bad. He just needs marks. Now that helped. That was huge right there. Yeah, that's pretty favorable right there. Mm, I'm not uh, liking the wood. That'll probably go far right. He's going straight at it. Yeah. Ooh. Roadblock. I don't know if he saw that piece of wood behind it. Nice 10 box, though. After six, Brian is at 67 working on a spare. Ben is at 65. Pins already down. Brian is up 30 pins plus his fill. This is... If he drops a bomb on this, it's going to be very hard for Ben yeah. to come back. It's not going to be mathematically out of it, but he's going to be realistically out of it. See what Brian does. He's running a nice, consistent ball right now. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So I'm gonna fall. Nope. He's a Starlight Five. Not bad though. He's got a piece of wood there. He's gonna either choose to play the wood or go to the left of it. He's playing the wood. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh. It could be. Ooh. Oh. Hey. hey! Delayed reaction. Pause for <laughs> dramatic effect. On a personal level, I just gotta get something off my chest. Oh boy. If you go see a movie, oh God. don't spoil it for the rest of us and say what happens in it, uh, especially a big movie. I agree. Oh, my God. I saw, I saw the same post that you did. I was, I that, was a little upset. That made so many of us mad. I'm just hoping he was messing around. I, it doesn't matter if he did or didn't. It just, 
that's the third time that that person. I'm not going to mention names because I'm not like that. But I would. You know who you are, and it's it's a scumbag thing to do. I would. It really. I'm is. glad I did not see this post because I have not seen the movie yet either. Look at this. Oh, oh look at this. Ocean Ball picks up the fourth horseman. Ben's nope. like, are you kidding me? Are you really kidding me that, right now? Guys, that might be a how does that happen moment. It is. That, that qualifies. That was a trick shot if I ever saw one. That was the, the, the new Palace Richard right there. Look at this mess. Well, at least a seven pin fill. He's not bad now. But he needs this mark. Still, again, though, an awful lot of wood. There is. If he plays that red line, he should take it. Well, he's going left. Oh, he did it. He needed that hugely. Still went. That's only his fourth mark in the match, and Brian has ten. And we got one hanging around. Nice eye. Got to pick, do a little bit of house cleaning right there. So box to box, pin's already down. Ben is down 35, so he's up against a six pill on the spare. He didn't lose any, but he didn't gain any either. Oh, he could gain one. Game Hold one. on, he gained one. <laughs> Down leaves, 34. Jumping the gun there, Dennis. Leaves the 169. Just off. So it looks like Brian's going to advance again. Wow. He's going to be facing the number one seed. Number five seed coming to number one. That's what we call running the ladder, baby. After eight, Brian is at 98 working on his spear. Ben is at 91. Pins already down. Brian is up 35 pins plus whatever he gets on this mark. It's an accomplishment, though. I mean, you come in, you beat. There was, what, 30 bowlers today? Yep. And you run the whole ladder. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Shows you anything can happen. Never give up. What Look was at this? Yeah, it's a nice action off that side. Well, you could have the strike. Hold on. Nope. Not enough juice on it. It's up 44 pins right now. Another spear. Four in a row. What's that? I don't know. Four in a row. <laughs> Bronchuk? No, Bronchuk is six. Oh. A badge? Eagle. Eagle. Oh, this. another nine pin hey, drop. With a wiggle. You're good at those. Oh, wait a minute. No, no too slow forward. down. Too short. Too short. Ooh, this oh, is going to be a, a good, tough one. Not that's, that's, that's not bad. That's how I'll take it. Just hit the pin. Eh. I don't know. Go a little high on it. A little above the you red really line. really got to jump off it, though. Not right there. There you go. Okay, well, oh. you know. You know. Five in a row. Oh. Wow, great finish from five in a row. Didn't leave a single pin stand in the string. The one, <coughs> 136 plus a ball right now. That's which, impressive. Exactly where he was last string. Yep. Don't say nothing. I ain't saying you nothing. guys jinxed him with a two fill. I, I did not. Amber did. Nice. Beautiful. There it goes. Could have the strike. There it goes. Could have the strike. Nine and a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. No, nope, it's staying. Nine fill for See, 145. Nice string. I, mean, I, I even held my breath. So that <laughs> Thank you for that, by the way. I, but hey. <laughs> Up now, finishing it off, Ben Leary. He wants to give a shout out to his family, his teammates Ryan, Will, and Mike, and the Reagans, owners of the Bowling Acres. Unfortunately, Ben is mathematically eliminated. Correct. At this point. Um, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, North End Mazda Subaru in Bloomberg, Mass. Visit buynorthend.com or go to there in person and see Marty Babino and his excellent sales staff on a new or pre-owned Mazda or Subaru. Also, go to YouTube, type in Watch Me Suck at Bowling and see my good friend George do parodies on Kent Pin Bowling, Duck Pin Bowling, and yes, even 10 Pin Bowling. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, want to thank everybody out in YouTube land, Facebook, Local access for tuning in to King of the Palace, the number one rated TV show in all the lands. Um, also want to thank FATV for everything they do, their hard work. Um, it does not go unnoticed, trust me. Want to thank Amber and Dennis, the OEPD. And did I forget anybody else? Steve. Oh, and get well, Mr. Bronchuk. You are sorely, sorely we miss you. missed. Um, Dennis, give us the rundown, my friend. Second string, Brian threw a 145 for a two-string total of 283. He's just getting better and better. 
and Ben threw a 116 for a two-string total of 226, which is way above his average. So he's getting on the hang his head about. Excellent bowling by Brian. Next week, he faces the number one seed in former champ, never lost his t champ, Dan Chenard. It's going to be a great match. I can't wait to, to do it. And uh, Dennis, let's get to the 11th box. Absolutely. And talk with Brian. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm standing here with this week's winner yet again. We're going to start calling it Brian King of the Palace. Uh, which score 283 to 226, 138, 145. Great bowling. Uh, you were just consistent. I think you had, uh, you had 12 spares, and I think you only left like two or three pins standing the entire match. Nothing was left standing in the second string. How would you feel about your bowling? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've, every, you saw everything was going my way. So, you know, it's a pinning game, and sometimes the shots go and got a little luck. You, you did have a couple of boxes where you got a little lucky sidewall action, but hey, yeah. that's part of the game. Yeah, hey, could happen to the other person too, you know. Exactly. And Dave actually brought up a question that he just thought he wanted me to ask whoever won the match. When you go home after this, are you going to tell your work, friends, work people you work with, friends, family, that you're going to be on the show to tune in and watch it? Uh, yeah, oh, of course, of course. I'll put, I'll put out something around work and, you know, maybe we'll get something going at work. Sure Absolutely. Tell them to, you know, tune in, subscribe, get more views. We're up to 818 right now. I want 850 before the end of the season. We'll try that. See what I can do. All right. Well, thank you and good luck because next week you have the number one seed, former king, Dan Chenard, who actually never lost the title. He could not come back to retain it. So we'll see everyone then for a great match.